Oh, sure, blame the bat. What the heck, what is it all? It's always hanging. And it stays here, sir. Just wishing I could do the job for you, sir. Are you right? And I, and then, ooh, and I kick us, sir. Anastasia, yeah, just one problem there, fellas. Anastasia's dead. All the Romanovs are dead. Dead, dead, dead. Am I right, my friend? I mean, how could that be? Oh, come on now. Am I supposed to be the vamp thing warlock of all these years just because some guy claims he's a Romanov? Okay, okay, get the message. Enough already. With the glowing and the smoke people. That thing's come back now, huh? Cross me. Anastasia's alive? And that's her. Grandmama, it's me, Anastasia. Psst. See, Dimitri, he can help. At the old palace. But you didn't hear it from me. Go, go, go. Oh, look at the cute puppy! On the wind, across the sea, hear this song and remember. Soon you'll be home with me, once upon a December. You're a very good actress, the best yet, in fact. But I've had enough. My dear, I'm old and tired. I'm tired of being conned and tricked. My Anastasia, oh, my darling Anastasia. Exit visa? No exit visa? No ticket! Last month the travelling papers were blue, but now they're red. In the dark of the night I was tossing and turning. In the nightmare my head was as bad as can be. It scared me out of my wits. A corpse rushing to bits. When I opened my eyes in the nightmare was me. I was with some mystical man or Russia. When the royals betrayed me and made mistake. My curse made each of them pay. But one little girl got away. Let on you beware as beauty's awake. Look at me. I'm falling apart. I'm a wreck. If only I hadn't lost the gift from the dark forces, the key to my powers. Your Imperial Highness, look what ten years has done to us. You, a beautiful young flower, and me, a rotting corpse. Lost seen at a party like this one. Followed by a tragic night on the ice. Remember? Let's be destroyed by your despicable family. But what goes around comes around. <laughs> and around. <laughs> and around. Together in Paris. Really? Oh, Grandmama! Let me go! Oh, please let me go! Grandma, help! Come this way, out the servants' quarters. Yes, we British like to king things proper. We're not chickens, we're geese. Mr. O'Malley, I think you should be at the rear end. Ready, everyone? Now think, goose. Forward, march. I'm coming, Mama. Gee, I'm cold, not wet. Mama? Mama! It'll be over, Mama. But it sure bounces. Though it seems at first it doesn't show, like a tree, your busy will bloom and grow. 
If you're smart, you'll learn by heart what every artist knows. You must sing your skills in your arpeggios. Hoot pe hoopus, no burlios is not kind. You know Edgar is so fond of all of us and takes very good care of us. Oh no, you don't, you still understand. She loves us very much. Poor madame, in that big mansion all alone. In all our days, in tender ways, her love for us was shown. And so you see, we can't leave her alone. She, is all, she always said that we're the richest treasure she could own. Because of us, she never felt alone. If you want to turn me on, play your horn, don't spare the tone, and blow a little soul into the tune. Cats in here trust, and I come after cat. I mean, after no, it's it's not fair. Oh, I mean, each cat will live about twelve years. I can't wait, and each cat has nine lives. That's Four times twelve multiplied by nine times. No, it's less than that. Anyway, it's much longer than I ever lived. I'll be gone. No. Oh no, they'll be gone. I'll think of a way. Why, there are millions of reasons why I should. All of them dollars. Millions. Those cats have got to go. Oh, they might won't find a clue to implicate me. Not one single clue while I eat my hat of... Like, my hat? My umbrella? Oh, oh my gracious. I've got to throw this thing back tonight. Ah, hello, me, madam. Well, as you know, I have no living relatives, and naturally, I want my beloved cats to be always cared for. And certainly, no one can do this better than my faithful servant Edgar. Duchess, kittens. Oh my gracious! I had the most horrible dream about them. Thank goodness it was only a dream. Oh dear, what a terrible night. Now, now, my darlings, don't be frightened. The storm will soon pass. Oh, oh no, they're, they're gone. Duchess? Kittens? Duchess, where are you? You know, George, if Edgar had only known about the war, I'm sure he would never have left. Duchess, how wonderful to have you all back. And I think this young man is very handsome. Shall we keep him in the family? Of course we will. We need a man around the house. And Georges, we must be sure to provide for their future little ones. I was having a funny dream. Edgar was in it. And we were all riding and bouncing along. Frogs? Uh Uh-oh. It wasn't a dream. Edgar did this to you. Oh, yeah? Every truly ocean music student knows You must learn your skills and your arpeggios Bring the music, bring from your chest and not from your nose Will you sing your skills and your arpeggios? When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh baby, to go. Simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. It's hard to let it go. You're giving me too many things lately. You're all I need. You smiled at me. Said, don't get me wrong, I love you, but does that mean I have to be a father? When you are older, you'll understand what I meant when I said no. I don't think life is quite that simple. Well, you are. I'm getting sleepy. Shouldn't we go home? Run. Why should I run? 
the fall of man necessities are simple bad necessities forget about your worries and your strife what's wrong with me why do i have this ice don't touch me you you have only me one bit i'm so scared you've done nothing leave me alone Congratulate. Don't feel it. Don't let it show. Conceal it. Don't feel it. Conceal it. Don't feel it. No, Hannah. Just give me the glove, please. I'm sorry, Hannah. I love you more than anything. <laughs> oh no, please don't make me go. Mm, I can't do this. I'm here. So yeah, my again killed so was a this thing with that man like person. You know what I'm talking about, right? Good. Well, let's take it from the top. Leave him alone. He's had enough beings for one day. So I'm sorry that way, oh I'm reporting you to the principal Celestia. Uh, I mean it. I'm Pinkie Pie, but you probably already know that seeing how it was I who was your guide around the school. Kinda of funny. That we meet again on the same day. Huh? I'm here, I'm GMG! You'll never guess what happened to me today. I was walking home from school, minding my own business, when all of a sudden I was approached by a mad stranger in white. Since the flash hour would be late for our after school gaming session, we huh? Mm, I'm so excited about the night school prom dance! This year is to be the best one of them all! I simply cannot let such a crime against fabulosity go uncorrected. Give me some time. I'm sure to come up with something for your debut as this mass heroine of Equestria. Darling, you're looking fabulous. Everything about my design is flawless. Can't you tell? <laughs>